So we're faced with a tough decision today. Tomorrow we have a truck in Atlanta, Georgia, and the rates are horrible. $22, dollars $2,300 is what full loads are paying right now from Atlanta, Georgia into the GTA. So we decided we're going to LTL him back home. I wanna show you guys what is the difference between booking a full load versus booking LTL. Is it even worth to book LTL? So in today's video, we're gonna do four or five different shipments inside a trailer. Okay, 1,000 miles is where we're at. I mean, probably with the LTL, it's gonna be about 1,100, 1,200 miles but is it worth it? That's the question that we're trying to answer. So let's get into building that trailer, mapping it out together. Now, if this video is successful, okay, and there's a lot of subscribers on it and it does really well, then I will continue doing this once a week where I take a truck in any location, whether it's Illinois, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, any one of our service areas, and I will LTL the truck back home live booking so you guys can see how we do it. Let's see if it's even worth it to LTL this driver back home. All right, so I got my three screens over here. The first one is the Excel sheet that I work off of Number two is I got my two load boards, DAT and load link. And number three, my map. So as I start booking or as I talk to people, I will start mapping it out. I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. And I also like to find my first LTL is a bigger piece. And then I start taking the smaller pieces after it, okay? So here's my first booking, Mableton, Georgia to Saint Laurent, Quebec. Now you're gonna tell me, Ronan, why are you taking freight to Quebec when you said the GTA? Because for me, it doesn't really matter whether it's Ontario or Quebec or to the Maritimes. Because we have a Maritimes division, we have daily departures to Quebec and to the Maritimes, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI. So I don't have a problem taking the load going into Quebec. So here it is, four skids, it paid me 1340 is what I got for it. It's gonna cost me $350 to pay our company to take it to Saint Laurent. So here we have 1340, okay? After that, we'll populate it on Mableton, Georgia. So here's Mableton on the map. Okay, so now I can start picking up LTL anywhere after that. Now you can see my load board over here. I have it organized from Deadhead from Origin. So this is the closest to Atlanta. And then as the miles go up, you can see that I sort the orders in a way or the loads in a way that I can see the closest thing to Atlanta, Georgia first. And then the further down it gets is the further it is away from Atlanta, Georgia. So you can see that Norcross is 25 miles away from Atlanta. And if you keep going down like Talmo, Georgia, it is 65 miles away from Atlanta, Georgia. So I like to really be within Atlanta and probably at most 100 miles. And if my driver's all the way at Jonesboro, Georgia, which is 50, 60 miles south, then I kind of like to go up north and start picking up things on the way home. Once we booked that Mableton, now we can start booking around it. So the next thing that I booked was another 11. So here I could see how much footage of the trailer. So I booked four skids. It was 4,155 pounds. We booked it for 1340. Then the one right after that we booked is five skids, all right? And it was very, very close and it was for $750. That went straight here into North York, which is the GTA. And after that I booked $400 for, for one skid. It was 475 pounds, okay? So now I got three out of my probably six LTLs. So as we start mapping this out, let's open up all the Excel sheet so you can see, and then we'll get to the final numbers at the end of how much I was able to pack into this trailer. So let's open it up. So here are all of my pickups that I got. So I was able to book yesterday and today, not just me, it's also this office here. So um, in my future series, I will actually show you how I'm booking all these LTLs and mapping it out. But for today, we're just gonna take the sample and, and try to understand if it's worth it even to do the LTL or not, okay? So as we have all of our loads over here, our trailer is 53, there's no more. Sometimes I could fit 56 and 58, especially when we're here in the warehouse. We could probably squeeze in about 60 feet of trailer into 53 feet. How do we do that? There's some freight that is low. We can put, you know, decking beams. We could put things on top of the other. Some things can be double stacked and some things cannot be double stacked. Ball ground, Georgia was one skid, two feet. Then we had five skids, 11 feet. From Jonesboro, Mableton, we had four skids, 10 feet. Then in Atlanta, we had two skids, which was only four feet. Then in Canton, Georgia, we had two skids, but it took up 12 feet of trailer. And then we had another seven skids paying $950 going from Tennessee, going into Hamilton. So you see that in total footage, okay, here's the total skids. And then we have the total feet that it takes up. We have 53 feet. All right, this is our route on how we went or how we're gonna be dispatching the driver to go pick up all these loads. And then see the mascot Tennessee that you can see it's about four hours. So if he finishes all his pickups today, he'll drive for about three, four, five hours. He will shut down for the night. And then tomorrow, first thing in the morning or the next day, first thing, he's gonna pick up the mascot and then he's gonna go all the way to the GTA. And the GTA is here, Concord, Ontario. Now the driver, when he gets to Toronto, he doesn't have to do all these pickups. Now also we do have city drivers in Atlanta, Georgia that can pick up 
up all these loads and, and, and this will be waiting for him in the dock as long as it's in within 50 mile radius to Atlanta. Load going to the GTA, we have exactly 1,000 miles as we route this thing up into Concord. We'll probably ask him to do the delivery in Hamilton and also the delivery in Milton. So we'll load up the trailer in a way that you know Hamilton will be all the way at the back so he can deliver it and then he'll bring the trailer into the GTA and drop it off over here and our local delivery, our local drivers will start doing it. One of the key successes to LTL when booking LTL, my load link in my DAT probably has a lot of features that yours don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go into some of these features. So you can see here as I hover my mouse, okay? So now I'm on DAT.1. As I hover my mouse over some of these loads, you can see that I have here uh, this envelope that comes out and uh, you know, this circular thing over here. When I press out the circular thing, okay, so these are the features that I pay for for a different company. So it's not a part of LoadLink, it's not a part of DAT, but these features when you're doing LTL is extremely, extremely important. So number one, I have a rate per mile calculator, okay? So as I'm negotiating with somebody over the phone or I'm thinking of sending an email, um, you can see that when I press that button, okay, which is that circular thing over there, all of a sudden I have a pop-up like this that comes out. So for example, here I have a Talmo, Georgia going to Brampton, Ontario, okay? If I press that little circular button over here, which is the features that I have that a lot of you people don't have, it routes the shipment for me just with one click of a button. Uh, I don't have to go to my Google Maps and reroute it. Just by that click of a button, it routes the shipment for me. Now, the greatest thing that I have over here is a rate per mile calculator. Okay, so let's say the broker is giving me $500 or $750. I can see that he's paying me. There's a rate per mile calculator over here. Okay, so my load link and my DAT is integrated with Google Maps and my load link in DAT is integrated with fuel prices, okay? So another great thing that I have here is it'll tell me my cost for fuel as I'm routing the shipment. You know, this is very important for you to know, like, you know, is your shipment going to be profitable? So the fuel cost is here, the tolls are here, which is amazing. So I could see that it's gonna cost me to do this route $35 in tolls as I you know, take this Talmo, Georgia and come here into Brampton, Ontario. So not only do I have the fuel integrated, I have the tolls integrated, and now I have a profitability calculator. If this shipment pays me $1,150, I see here that you know after the fuel and after the tolls, I'm actually netting $600. So this is very, very important. And, and the biggest thing about this feature, I can actually send an email to the broker with just one click of a button. So here is a posting that I want, the Norcross to Etobicoke. I'll press this little thing button over here, and this is an add-on feature, um, and I will hit send, okay? So now let's have a look at my sent box. All right, so here's my sent box, okay? Now you can see here in my sent box that it basically sent an email to the person that's posting a load. It's pre-populated with the data that you load from Norcross, Georgia to Etobicoke, and here's an email inquiring about that load. Can we get more information about this load that's being posted on this day? Do you have more information about the pickup and delivery for me? You can set this email up however you want. You can customize it, but the beauty about this is when you're looking at this load board, you could just basically click, 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 and send seven, eight, nine inquiries to eight, seven, eight, nine different brokers. Now, the greatest thing is that it's not actually going to the brokerage company is actually going to the person that's posting this load because I don't know about you guys but I have a hard time getting a hold of people posting loads and this is a great feature for me so why do I have these features and you don't because I have a Google Chrome extension called load connect it's an extremely powerful tool when you are doing LTL and when you're doing full loads you really 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 want to have this tool I mean it's probably the best $18 that I've ever spent in my life and they go a long way so back to our LTL trailer okay um, so we routed here is the route I mean as we route it we got a, a thousand miles and then the total profit that we received not profit the gross earnings that we received was four thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars okay so I started this video off with saying that you know the full load rates are twenty two twenty three hundred dollars and here I was able to with six pickups yes we got a sell, minus three hundred fifty dollars for the Saint Laurent uh, forty eight ninety minus about three hundred fifty dollars we're looking at forty five thirty forty five forty is what we're gonna get I mean does that make sense for me it does make makes sense. Taking a full load, $2,300 or $2,200 is just not paying enough and sometimes you really need to be creative. So if you're enjoying this and enjoying this series, I'm actually going to do live load bookings with you guys and then packing up this trailer just so you guys can see how the load king does it. Maybe it's worth LTLing the guy home versus these full loads. So hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.